Okay. So y'all know we just had an election, right? Yeah. Who were the candidates? Who was running for president? Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Okay. Do you know who the Democrat was? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Do you know who the Republican was? Donald Trump. All right. Do you know anybody else that was running for president? There was actually yes. like four or five. Yes. Okay, who? I don't know their names, though. Okay. Um, I think Johnny something? Gary Johnson. Is that? Yeah, Johnson. And then there was Jill Stein, and then there was a bunch of other people. Okay. Um, so, now, do you know how many people live in the United States? 77 million. No. Wait. Do you know? Okay, there are, th I, 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 you stay. There are 324 million, that's an estimate. Okay, see six zeros. 324 million people live in the United States. Okay? Now, there are about 251 million, right, who are old enough to vote, right? Because you know you guys can't vote because you're not old enough, right? You can vote on Nickelodeon? You can vote on Nickelodeon, but in a yeah. but in a presidential election, in an election you have to be 18, so there are 251 million, so that means the rest of this uh, 49, 59, about 60, 60 some million are kids or people who aren't old enough to vote, okay? Now, of this 251 million, there's about 230 or 231 million who are eligible. Do you know what eligible means? No. Eligible means able, that you can, you're allowed. You're old enough, you, um, you have the permission to vote. Like, if people are in prison, they're not allowed to vote, and there's some other things that maybe they're not a, a citizen. You know, maybe they live here, but they're not a citizen here. So that means there's about 21, 251 minus 230, 31. There's about 20 million people that are old enough to vote, but can't vote. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this election last Tuesday, there was about 60 million, I think it was 400,000 voted for Clinton. Okay? And then there was about 60 million one or 200,000 I'm going to go with 100,000 that voted for Trump. Okay? Now, what does that tell you? 60 million 400,000, 60 million 100,000. Who got the most votes? Yeah. Now, do you know why Trump got won the presidency, but even though Clinton got more votes? Yeah. Okay, there's a thing called an electoral college. I'll explain that later. But the electoral college, Trump got more votes there. And so that's why Trump won and Clinton didn't, even though she got a few more votes. Okay. Now, if we take all of their votes together, okay, that's 120 and that's 500. So there were about 120,500,000 people that voted. Okay? Now, how many are old enough? 251 million. How many are eligible? 230 million, but only 120,000 120,500,000 people actually voted. Okay? Does that make sense? So if we subtract the number of people that actually voted, right, from the people who could have voted, that would tell us how many people didn't vote, right? Or, or maybe uh, voted for Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. That was about six million, I think. So if we subtract uh, the 230 million from the 120 million, or the 120 million from the 230 million, that leaves around 110 million people who did not either did not vote or voted for Gary Johnson or uh, or Jill Stein. Okay. 
There was about six million, I think, that voted for Trump. Or, I mean, uh, for Stein and uh, Johnson. So this is probably less than 110 million, but probably still at least 100 million. Okay. Now, let's look at three groups of these people. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay. This group is the total population, right? There's a bunch of people here that are old enough but can't. Okay. So these are all the people that are eligible, but these are the ones that I want to show you. These are the people that voted for Clinton. These are the people that voted for Trump. And these are the people that did not vote or did not vote for Clinton or Trump. Now, what is 60 plus 60? 120. So, right, 120. Those are the people that voted. Now, do you think, based on these numbers, that these people, if she won, or these people, where he won, have any right to tell the rest of us what to do? Why do you think that? That's true, but let's think about, you know, let's, let's take all the big numbers off, and let's just say that there were... 230 people in a room. Our church, right, will hold about 200 people. Okay? So let's say that we had an election at church, right? And it was going to be uh, that we were going to go on a trip. Right? We had two choices to go on a trip. We could go to Hawaii or we could go to Alaska. Right? And we're going to go in December. Right? So Alaska is really, really, really cold. And Hawaii is really, really, really nice, right? Well, what if out of the 230 people in the room, 60 of them voted for Alaska? And, and uh, no, I'm going to change that scenario. Uh, let's say that 60 people voted to go to Alaska and 60 people voted to go to, uh, no, to another really cold place, Russia, okay? So that's where they're voting to go. They're, they're, they're both voting because they want to each go to some place that's really cold. And then there's 110 people in the room that are like, you know what, I don't want to go to Alaska and I don't want to go to Russia because it's really cold in December. So either I'm going to not vote and just go do what I want or I'm going to vote to go to Hawaii. Well, the way the election works and the way that people act They'll say, oh, well, you didn't vote, so you don't have a right because you didn't vote. Or you didn't vote the way I wanted you to. So now, because we voted, everybody has to either pick Russia or Alaska. But the 110 people were like, no, that's half of the room. Half of the people in the room was like, no, I'm not going to Alaska and I'm not going to Russia. What do you think is fair considering 60 people voted to go one way, 60 voted to go another way, but 110 was like, no, nah, I'm out. And then these people say, oh, well, you have to go the way we go because we voted. Even though we're going in two completely different directions, we have, you have to go the way we want you to go. What do you think about that? Why wouldn't you do it? I mean, they said, they're telling you, well, Kayla, we voted, so you, you, you have to go one way or the other because we voted. So, you have to do it. What are you going to say? No. What, what about you? What are you going to tell them? Say I'm retired. What? That doesn't even make sense. See, right now, this difference right here of about 300,000. Uh, it's anywhere from a hundred to four hundred thousand. It could be even a million people voted more for Clinton than did Trump, and so now the Clinton people are all like, "Oh, well, it's not fair," and they're just, you know, they're coming apart. But the reality is, 
there's 324 million people in this country and they're all wound up about a couple hundred thousand. So I just wanted to show you that as an analogy to show you what people are arguing about right now because there are people in the Trump camp, right, that they're all happy. They're all, oh, Trump won, make America great again, everything's going to be awesome. And the Clinton people are saying, oh, no, the, the entire world's going to collapse no. in on itself. No. And then the rest of us are like, nah, it's not going to do either. We're going to be fine. We'll just go do our thing. What do you all think about that? I still want to go to Hawaii, and I'm retired. Okay. Sounds good. Oh.